At Fully Charged Live Show in Sydney, there were quite a few charging companies. This is just one of them, EV, E-V-I-E, uh, goev.com.au. Hello. Hello. You are. Hi, I'm Ed Lynch-Bell. I run the product team here at EV Networks. And that's EV, E-V-I-E. Absolutely. Because there's quite a few EV companies around. Yep. <laughs> so, funny story, do you want to know where the name comes from? Please tell me. So, uh, we started out as Fast Cities Australia, which was always just a work in progress name. And our CEO uh, was going through the list of names, and our, you know, you'll be able to guess the age of our CEO when I tell the story. He uh, saw the EV name and said, that's the one. That's the one. And you know why it's the one? Because it's after the Stevie Wright song. You know, the Stevie Wright, Wright song, Evie Let Your Hair Hang Down. Yes. Uh, Evie parts two, uh, one, two, and three. Uh, and that's kind of what we want to be as a business. We want to be your trusted companion on the That was in the, the um, 80s, I think. Yeah, wasn't something like that. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I had to go look it up. I'm a little bit younger, but I had to go look it up. It's a good song. In fact, actually, uh, at our Christmas party, some of the team got together. They put a scratch band together and they performed it for the for, uh, for the staff. It was great fun. Yeah. Well, I was born in the era of black and white TV. Uh, so, <laughs> so what what do you offer? So what do we offer? So first of all, we are Australia's fastest growing, uh, truly nationwide electric DC fast charging network powered by 100% clean energy. So you'll find our stations in every single state and territory in Australia. I'm from Western Australia yep. in Perth, and we don't have too much over there, but yep, we, we've got a presence now. We've got a presence. We, we, uh, we've got Karen Yap over in Perth. Uh, we've also got a team over in Perth. So uh, one of the things we did last year was we hired a small team in Perth, Perth to accelerate the, uh, the rollouts over there, and they're working hard to put the next 10, 20, 30 stations out there um, because, as I say, we are a nationwide network. So you've got, in Karen Up, you've got four um, destination chargers. Correct, yeah. Um, two on yellow and two next to the Tesla superchargers. Yes, right? yes, yes. I yes. use them. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very yeah. much. Um, yeah, and so what you'll see is you'll, you know, our aim in urban areas is to make sure that everybody's no more than five minutes from one of our stations. So we've got a plan then to roll out all over the Perth area. You'll also start to see our high speed or ultra fast 350 kilowatt uh, highway sites start to ring, uh, ring the Perth area. And then uh, we move on from there. Excellent. Yeah, I mean, the super fast chargers, you don't really need them right in the city centre. Mm. They need to be just on the outskirts and then out in the country. I mean, in, in WA, mm. we've got the um, state government putting in 49 yep. sites, yep. 50 or 150 kilowatt chargers with a destination charger as backup. Um, but it's all around the edge. Yep. And across from Perth to Kalgoorlie. Mm. But there's nothing up and down in the middle. And there's yep. lots of highways and mm. so on there. And that's where and, and that's where we're gonna build. So our strategy has always been to build a ring, as you say, a ring of those ultra fast sites around the city. Ultra fast sites uh, going out, going outwards, and then to give coverage in the city. So to make, as I say, to make sure that nobody's more than five five minutes from from one of our charges. Although interestingly enough, I mean here in Sydney we've got a, an ultra fast site at Seven Hills, which is one of the key routes going out to the northwest of the city, and that gets a real mix of use. You know, it gets a real mix of use from people from people who live locally and then people who are coming into or leaving uh, leaving the city. Yeah, uh, I think the uh, the positioning of these uh, charges is very important because you can stick them all together in one spot and it's no good. You need them spread out because most cars will be able to do 200 kilometers mm -hmm. and that's what the state government in um, WA yeah. is doing. Um, they're trying to position them at least every 200 kilometers. Yeah, so when we started the highway network, we, uh, we looked at what was available and uh, you know we wanted to support everything and you know the, the Nissan Leaf was the car with the lowest range and so we went for 150 kilometers or less on the spacing to make sure we could support everything everything that was out there. I mean originally the RAC in WA put out 
um, 50 kilowatt chargers mm -hmm. and they space them about every 100 k's specifically for the Nissan Leaf because that yeah. was the only car available back then. Well exactly, exactly and now there's a lot more choice and there's some fantastic cars here. MG4 looks really, that, uh, really I've, exciting. I've so. sat in that and looked at that, it looks pretty good. I think that's going to be... I don't know what the price on it is yet. I, I haven't heard either. Uh, I think it's around 40, is there? There's been talk of 40,000, yeah. yes. I'm yet to find out its official price. But it's, it's a worthy, you know, for, for somebody who wants a Corolla-sized vehicle, it's a worthy a worthy competitor, uh, I think. Yeah, so. and um, it's got a reasonable range, um, good specs. I quite like it. Uh, and so much, so much choice here. We've got Polestar, there's Teslas, we've got BYD, MG, LDV, LDV. Skywell. Oh, I, I tell you what, I love that little LDV tray bed truck that they've got over there. Have you seen that one yet? It not, uh, yeah, there, there's a couple of tray backs and yeah, so on. Yeah, they've got yeah. the LDV ET60. Oh no, it's not an LDV, it's, it's the other... It's another one. It's, it's the other Chinese... Skywell. Company. Skywell, yeah. yeah. That, little, that little tray bed truck, it's yeah. going to be great, you know. They, they've got, got a few nice ones coming in, yeah. so that's good. Well, thanks very much. I appreciate it's your time. It's been an absolute pre pleasure. And uh, yeah, don't forget EV Networks, your 100% clean energy powered. And they lots. will come to WI. We will. I, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to introduce you to Tommy, who's our lead in WA, and uh, you should get him on. I will. Thank uh, you very much. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. I did interview quite a few of the charging companies there, but I've decided I'm going to put a couple of them up here. Um, there's probably just too many of them. Uh, so that one was EV. I'll do another one in a few days' time, probably. Thanks very much for watching. Please help the channel by clicking that like and subscribe button below. And also make a comment down there. And I'll see you all very soon.